Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the next episode of Tiekwanin, where I dissect old sites and try to redo it in newer technologies while st still keeping it alive. Uh, last time, uh, we have ended with uh, some progress on authorship, um, definition of authors, and uh, the new forum. And I have tried to make uh, Django work with free in, uh, indexes. I mean, make it make it an outer join on uh, fields uh, that are not foreign keyers in database and that are characters instead of integers. And abandoned it in the end and decided to go just for data migration. Uh, so let's let's do that. Um, the one here is the user ID. Well, the user is going to be a profile. And it's going to be foreign key to creations. No, uh, from users. Uh, user profile and the key is going to go on user profile and it will be no which also means that Derek will be able to go away um, but that's going to be a different problem. Uh, let me also just make sure that I'm live. Uh, since the app is a bit unclear on that. Yep. And there, hi everyone. All right. So this will be the foreign key. Um, also means that it will be cached. I mean, joined. So... Let's work on that. Um, also means that we will add new user and that's Forum will be just objects. There will be no need for that method. And uh, user profile URL. I'm still undecided on how to treat those. Uh, so user profile URL is going, if you're going to have user, then uh, we'll return its profile URL and else we return explicitly none. This should pass our tests. So, um, 
This is not test HTML, it's going to be test models. And what do you want to do on delete? Well, nothing. Uh, Let's add it to know at this point. Mostly because of compatibility. Once you'll go into GDPR and like propagation of deleted items, uh, we'll handle it differently. Uh, so let's run this and We'll do a migrate forum, which will be, I think, way easier than this guy. So migrate forum dot by. Uh, yes, in reference to. is handle okay um, and I'm calling for not user ID sure since we haven't run the migration so this really seems like this is running called migrations oh wow uh, that makes sense why the test setup is uh, taking so long now so forum user reference and we'll get user profile and forum. So for Comment in forum objects all. Uh, we'll if the comment dot well from uh, comment dot by registered user and that happens when uh, so the direct equals one string one. Uh, so if that happens, then we'll try to find a user uh, according user profile. So in that case, command dot user is user profile objects dot get where Nick is equal to I think we have to do the misencoded field. So that's in the CZ text. Uh, and it's misencode comment dot nickname. 
And if that yields, uh, I mean, if that yields uh, user profile dot does not exist, then we all we can do is log it. User, I mean, author for nickname, and we're moving on. And if it's found, then we will just save it. That's it, and now the only thing I need is to uh, properly set up the logger, something I always forget how to do because this is just magic. Um, I mean, it's not magic. I Technically, I know what it does, but um, it's not intuitive. So, Tests are passing, so I can do migrate and I can migrate forum. And while that is happening, uh, let me fill in Uh, let me fill in on that project that we have. Uh, well, for launch party. Um, oh, we don't have a ticket for it. Yeah. So that's a new issue. Um, so migrations and that is going to include Migrate forum and migrate authors. Final data migrations. So this should help us get there. And now let's uh, verify this works and actually display the reference in forum list. And my decision would be that if comment is by that registered user, um, then uh, we do link and nickname and star. So let me maybe put all of this as a line. Uh, so if registered, we'll do stuff. Otherwise, we'll do just the nickname and definitely not any user star. And
if the user is registered, then we'll put a link probably just on the nickname and the destination is going to be um, user profile URL and the relations author. Let's put metadata in. Okay, this works. Um, and here will be time to add a new to add the user star. Um, but I mean, let's deploy this data migration and whatnot. Stuff can go wrong. Uh, let me add migrations go in and the user reference goes in and the basic test goes in. Uh, all right. Um, and I should properly separate arguments. Um, display links profiles for registered users and that's under 20 mm, so the next one is going to be the user tech and I'm thinking what else Uh, I guess user tech. I can do user tech. Right, I wanted to do the. UI test, let's do that. Um, so. Let me steal the model generator. I will need the Selenium test case. And we will need a setup that uh, actually sets up the chain. Uh, so server available, I mean, that's verified elsewhere. So page heading should be uh, forum, the URL is forum, and we will test that Um, command and, and set up. So this is going to be done before every test. Hmm. Setup class would be better. Is it is it supported? Uh, which means like a setup that's only run uh, once since what I want to do is ju just visit the class once and uh, oh, um, set up the class once 
and do multiple assertions for the page. Okay. Our setups will not be. Because we're not set up class. After all test of the same test will execute it. Cool. Uh, so set up this data is what I want. Then set up set up class uh, is where we want to visit the site once and then and set up the selenium. And then now we, now we can do independent multiple assertions. So we can ask for uh, page heading and we can ask for the outer. So that's going to be uh, uh, So I want to make sure that we are not picking up something else. Uh, so also this class probably shouldn't be article list, but comment list. Which means that it apparently needs Larry or both. Why? Because of pagination. Let me take a look how that's done. Uh, so article list. because pagination is folding. And I think that that's potentially something to fix because I could do it using a flux as well. So let's take it to a different commit. Um, let me write it. Uh, so that's... Um, article list should be formalized uh, and uh, pagination should be not float uh, like uh, from float to flex for sufficiently modern uh, if you're only supporting modern browsers which we do Okay. Nevertheless, so um, let me go for if. Uh, ID is page forum and 
uh, below that we'll take Nick. And that should be equal to router. So this is about test outer rendered. And this should potentially fail because I'm not sure uh, if this is going to pick up only uh, I'm not sure if this is going to pick up um, only the rendered text or actually like the enriched email emails so whether the ref will cause some issues. But nevertheless, um, let's also take a look at the text. Uh, so comment text rendered uh, setup class is missing one required positional argument self. Uh, no, it's not. Does it mean that's for setup classes? I need to use the Python three version. I mean, Python two version. This is weird. Uh, oh, set up the test data will only be called once if the database supports transactions, which is not the case, but anyhow. Um, people are just not calling it uh, oh right no this is the issue uh, I'm not marking it as a class method Maximo culpa, and now this should render self dot comment dot text, and uh, the ifth path. Is uh, comment main I should maybe add just comment text there. Uh, so P class comment text. Uh, this is a controversial practice, uh, like adding adding a class like basically altering your application so it's more testable um, but I think um, it's that's I'm definitely in uh, the part that say it's worth it I 
himself is not defined, sure. Uh, I'm thinking because this means we're we reuse. I mean, it makes sense uh, since you're only relying on. I uh, yeah. Um, so what this means is that uh, the selenium is. Completely shared across the instances, and that's going to cause problems. No, it will not, since I'm doing XR queries on the parent method, so I should be fine. Um, Um, so, oh. well, let's see whether it will be better now. And this will time out since apparently we haven't correctly created comments. And one thing is that uh, I'm not calling a parent here. But the other one is. Why? Um, so the others cannot be found. Okay. And I have a host name issue apparently. So let's uh, let me override it. Uh, so it's get attribute. Uh, settings live server host uh, like test live server host and none is the default or we're going to use the host name and uh, I can override this locally and uh, just send it to localhost to deal with my problems, presumably. Uh -huh, so it was not a fluke, I have issues. I mean, sure I do, but I meant uh, with browser. I mean, with uh, networking. I do wonder how come it changed though. Like in between the strands. Sounds like something's doing something fishy on the server. 
Okay. Uh, so that part is working even when I'm talking to localhost. And now the question becomes uh, why this was not called. Right. And this has to be class, whereas this has to be self because I don't have class. And all, um, all like this is uh, a bit weird on Python compared to other languages that all uh, class attributes are propagated as in, uh, like accessible as instant instance attributes. And um, there is no good way to tell them apart from within the instance. Oh. Setup class is cyclic. Oh, right. Um, yeah, evening programming. Uh, so what was happening is that um, I've been, see, uh, in here I've been referencing uh, back to the class itself and uh, when creating that new instance, this got called. So this, this, um, yeah, I've been recursively calling uh, this particular method. Uh, but what I'm having issues with is that. Uh, Set this data is not called apparently at all. Oh, and again, wrong assumptions. So I thought that this is um, instant method since uh, it is on uh, it is on uh, the transaction support um, to decide whether this is going to get uh, used or not. Um, but it apparently made no difference. <sighs> In. Any other reason why this is not getting Called <sighs> set up this data atomic book. Where did the visitor do the code is very I don't see what I'm doing wrongly. Uh, 
but it actually may be well never mind let's go back to setup uh, so this is not a class method the, and now the problem is that if I would do set up class, I mean, alternatively, uh, what I could do would be uh, to do everything in the setup class, not make a distinction between uh, setup and setup data. Um, the problem with what I did is that the selenium like if setup data would be called after setup class, then I open uh, the browser before the data is loaded. Uh, so that was also a potential problem with what I've been doing. Um, but apparently now we're moving on. So. Uh, from model. Oh uh, no. <laughs> uh, from DCZ dot models. Well, at least I know that um, I'm correctly. Uh, the the um, data creation is properly called. So let's see whether we have and this is correct and actually contains proper link and also XPath are being correctly executed so this looks good cool um, Well, well, I did actually. Let's also uh, test uh, auto link and dirt and what I want here is to self. Uh, comment dot uh, I want to test it this way, but it's uh, is a profile URL. Let's make sure it's rendered. And I don't remember uh, the notation for attribute. Uh, so let me take a look. So Python, Selenium, access. Bits. Um, so get a tribute ref. And that should be it. This will be useful for la large scale changes. Uh. 
Let's see. Okay. So I made an error. This is super slow actually, given uh, it's only sending commands. Um, text is not defined, uh, that's correct. Meanwhile, let me try to figure out um, whether I do have uh, the stars rendered or whether I will need to figure out the SVG versions. Have I migrated? Uh, oh, I decided to have their own renders, rend rating stars. I have them as GIF anyway. In which case, um, let me say that huh. there are multiple ways to show the stars need. And they are skin related because it's chief. Perfect. So I never noticed this. Perfect. So do uh, wait. No, those are the light ones. So those go here. And those go here. And this is a rating that needs to be considered separately. Uh, so let's not talk about it right now and let's unify them so star level of zero zero and lowercase chief please um this is going to be star level two. This is going to be star level five. And this is going to be, how can I just click on it? Uh, star level eight. And uh, this is uh, rating star dragon. All right, I could theoretically, uh, I could theoretically show some best scripting on this, but uh, nobody wants this. So level two, uh, level five, level eight. 
und ein bisschen wie Lowercase. Ähm And this shouldn't have two options. Okay, and interestingly, um, there is a difference in rendering uh, whether I'm using hostname or not. Mm -hmm. I have assert contains. Yep. Uh, so let me see. Assert that response indicate. Oh, this is not what I want. Um. No. I want to see, uh, I, I want to assert a substring, uh, so uh, I would assume Uh, what is result? Oh, assert in. Uh, okay. So assert in. And what I want there is of user dot slack. Uh, I want slug in the URL and a primary key. That's enough as a hint. Uh, so under link. Uh, yeah, sufficient as a rough pattern matching. Since if it wouldn't be rendered, we wouldn't get uh, that attribute at all. Um, how many times can I do this and do it wrongly? For fuck's sake. Um, also goes for this apparently. String requires string as a left operands, not integer. Right. Um, because in that test, of uh, forum, the primary key is. An integer. Okay. Are we good now? I hope so, so we can move on. It seems like that. So let's go with this as a test and move on to the uh, to displaying uh, the stars. Cool. Okay. 
So that's a basic UI rendering. And that was under 20. And see whether this uh, excellent slim battery actually runs some production. And the next guy, or girl, but in check it's guy. Ah, uh, files are gay. Guy and gay. <laughs> uh, it's, I guess, users.py. And in there, we are going to get a simple tag actually. Um, so let's register it as a simple tag. And it will be called. It will not, it will be an inclusion tag. Uh, and it will be called level star. I'm using underscores right there. So level star and the instance will be user profile. Does it even need to be? And I mean, uh, let's keep it that way for future. Uh, so users uh, level star and we'll put in user and user profile And scan, that's the problem. So user profile and skin. Hello. I hope that skin is going to be injected by the middleware um, but that will be pretty easy to discover uh, so we are put in a level star and that's going to be just html with a source and Let me see how we've been sorting this out. Um, for other stuff. Oh, so for skins, I have been explicitly adding it. And I think that it's in middleware. Um, I mean, no, it's context processor. Hmm. Is there a storage URL? Oh, 
But this is already resolved, so... I sh should... Oh, let me look it up. Argen equals Derek Faust and Blatt. Right. This wasn't, this is why I did it, because in the template, I couldn't use the, variable in the middle of the bath. Oh my. Well, let me see whether it wo works with uh, dictionaries. So whether I can uh, do level stars and that be a dictionary and say level zero being um, oh my have I been renaming it level stars instead of Star level X level stars will be star dictionary. And star dictionary will be that for levels um, one, two, five, eight. Don't ask why. Um, star dictionary will be. This equals that guy. Well, the problem being, and we'll get back to the original problem. Crap. Uh, so star level S, and this is nice and dandy, except for how do we call that? Because it's like level stars dot. Level, level, and you can't do that. I'm not sure I can access context processor from here, but actually we don't need it in universally available. Uh, but I don't have a skin. <sighs> what I do, so, right. So what I can do is to get 
in explicitly. All right. Um, get static file storage here as well. Um, and say that star image URL is this guy. And skin is given explicitly. And level is user profile dot. I have no idea. Um, and this character field, of course. And it doesn't have a suffix, so I can't reasonably uh, add it. But okay, let's treat it as a string. Uh, so user profile is. Uh, I mean, um, level is user profile dot level or zero. Meaning, that I don't actually need the user profile there. And Have start image URL and we can actually add a le uh, level as an alt. An alt um, so it's we add a bit of accessibility. Okay. Um, And now in the forum list, instead of render user star, let's do the uh, level user, was it? Level star. And we are adding command.user. I believe and skin. Level star. I definitely did forget to load this stack. Users is not a registered stock library. Uh, do I need to do something else? Users pages sure, sure. Oh, restart our server, okay. Neat. Uh, so invalid syntax line twelve. Uh, yes. So this kind of works.
Right. How about really making it a variable? Neat. Um, it also switches properly, and the difference is that. The alignment doesn't work exactly well, and there is a white space. Uh, so I th think that it would be worth adding an unbreakable white space here. This is how it looks like, but it seems that the rating star for the zero more eleven to fifteen. I mean, this looks good enough. I'm willing to keep it. I just do under. Was it just artificially make larger? So not larger, just huh. Yeah, it was just deformed okay never mind how was it done here uh, css or attributes uh, This is not deformed. And it's not set via CSS, so I actually don't know why this is happening. Eleven to fifteen, and this one is eight. Eleven to fifteen. Eleven to fifteen. Eleven to eighteen. Neat. Yeah, this is deformed. So let me make a common agreement on that. Um, class. Our level and in common star level is send as it is. All right, I'm saying let's deploy this. Um, so, let's add all icons. Uh, let's add 
template tags and let's add the user and in forum uh, and the users level stars and that will be 120. So once that passes, we're done with those two. Uh, the next big one, big one will be user icon and also actually contributing. All right, so this will be it for today and I will make a break for a week. Um, I am going to go offline. Uh, so this is going to be the last day going in in a while. Mm. In December, I will start to be severely time constrained. Um, so this will actually start um, let's say a slowdown in both development and production of the new episodes. Yet I still hope that uh, I will be able to push forward uh, since I really want to make that switch. Uh, and yeah, I'm I'm unhappy I haven't pushed myself a bit f uh, earlier, uh, but that said, I really needed a rest, uh, so there aren't that many regrets. Now, um, oh, rendering time, that's a nice one. <laughs> and the one I appreciated from the original version. I'm not sure how easy it is to do now. Um, anyhow. All of those can go away. Some people are making jokes um, about not being as old as is the highest old level in the game, uh, which actually as of today I am. And now the altar includes backslash n, and that makes sense since uh, we have added. that non-breaking space. Right. Um, and that. So, test forum and... Oh god, is it stripped? Forgetting yeah. so strip and uh, let's make this nice. And this was all. This is fixed for the previous one. So, um, wait, can I do fix up? I guess we get to the base and boards. And do again. Sure, fix up is this one. Which 
overrode the previous commit. Shame I can't do any reasonable debugging here, um, but we'll survive. How to not found data migration for migration out uh, huh, what is this? Line thirty three. Any creations line twenty eight alter display link Oh, this is automatic, right? Uh, so this is because we have a handler on displaying all exceptions uh, in here. The logger uh, the logger exception displays that, uh, but for that test, this is actually okay. So it should be good. And meanwhile, I should be able to create pull request. Um, so display forum. Three minutes and we should be good to go. Are we there yet, Shrek? Oh no, it's more because now we have added uh, additional Selenium tests. Uh, so the build will actually be longer and longer. Um, Slight problem. And it's still quite a bit of work. This is fixed though, I think. Yeah, auto sneak name, this is done. Uh, this should be easy, I should do that next. Open full user profile. So in separation of static media, I think that this is uh, well not done, but also I think not necessarily needed. But now also that I have a three, it should be easy. Uh, hmm. This seems. Uh, Right. I mean, cool. Yeah. Uh, 
Exception or Emos, I think. No. Yeah, this is still work. Everything takes more time than you think. And um, we are heading towards deploy. Well, this is not very architecture rather than infrastructure. I mean, it is kind of both. Alright, so this is done. I will, I will deploy. Because we need to do uh, we need to do the migration. So seventeen forty four, it's been a while. That's not the one. Are we there yet? <laughs> uh, Almost there, Mr. and Miss. All right. So now we can do migrate. To get the forum link. Also note, just in case you would be running something higher traffic, um, there is a window of inconsistency between deploy and running the migrations, uh, which in case you have, you know, you count your traffic in request per second can actually be a significant pro problem. Uh, but fortunately I have the luxury of uh, uh, load traffic new version. Uh, but of note that this is a problem. Just reminds me, uh, on the original version, what were those links? There is also to the user profile. Good. Cool, cool. Um, So oh, this is the admin area. Let me see. Oh, I potentially really need a new computer. Is the migration finished? No. That's why this place error, which means it also displays it in Sentry. So let's go there. So this is exactly what happens in those inconsistency windows. Like I've tried to read an attribute, uh, it's not there yet. Um, yeah, no, not attribute is not attribute level because I haven't been defensive enough. That said, uh, it should only render. Huh. So that is a bug actually. So of note, uh, this is resolved. This was the timeout on the object change. Um, download item detail. 
three days ago. This is also a potential bug. Uh, so if I go to downloads, uh, this looks fine. So this was probably the work in progress on the downloads. Admin, so this was a uh, different things and timeout. Uh, common article or display name. So we are. L this is logging as an error. So th those are the two. Uh, the two known data problems to fix uh, that we have got the information about but this even for migration is suspicious so we have given a user profile So in forum, it happens that uh, since this is comment.user, so it happened that comment by registered user was true, but comment.user was false. Um, So it happens that self rec was something else than one. So let's be more, more defensive. And uh, let's require both of those. Um, can I create a GitHub issue based on that. Oh, I can. Nice. Um, so this is potentially being okay. configure for this uh, and let's only do it for the graveyard and um, this needs me to get my security key uh, so be right back put in my security key and see whether it works in embedded window and it does indeed okay so I have good help meaning Well, uh, 
Okay, repository successful edit. But how do I convert this to an issue? Like this is neat. That doesn't really help. <laughs> Ma. Uh, I feel that this is not working retrospectively. <laughs> Yeah, linking up your GitHub issues and pull requests. Oh, okay. This is so. So this is only going to be. Working with deployment tracking. And source maps potentially. Okay, never mind. So, um, um, well, this makes sense actually. Uh, so, uh, be more defensive about. Forum comments before complete migration. Because the reason why this happens, that this can actually happen uh, in the upcoming weeks uh, since. If someone adds a comment in the uh, on the other side, it will cause exactly this inconsistency. Uh, so uh, new comments. A link before complete migration. So this should fix under thirty. So let me push that. And potentially deploy, but let me wait for this migration. I'm um it's kind of interesting how long it's running, <laughs> but it's also true that if I take a look on the original site and go to forum, there is 12, so this is 12k SQL queries, well more, 24k, because um, I'm iterating over all of those and for every one uh, do a query on the user table and then saving it. Uh, so this will take a while. And meanwhile, if I have pushed Then I should be able to have a pull request. Yep, yep. All right. All 
Alright, so um, I think that I can cut it today. There shouldn't be anything more interesting TM. Um, I'll just wait for this to finish. And if there will be problem, then uh, let's, uh, talk t let's take them on the next podcast. Um, I mean, happy end of November. Uh, the next time is going to be the Christmas season, season already. So even for those of you affected by COVID, uh, I hope you will still be able to enjoy them. Uh, and uh, I will hear you in some time again. Um, thank you for your attention and see ya.